Hey YouTube, welcome to my video. Um, this video is brought to you by 360 Creation, sponsored by 360WebSolutions.com. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to add filters to images on your web page without using um, programs like Fireworks and Photoshop and stuff like that to edit images to achieve simple effects um, that you see on most web pages these days. Now here I have just a simple div tag with an image in it. And I'll jump into code view so you guys can see. It's just a simple div tag with an image tag in it, and I have some CSS style in the div tag. Um, and the image tag has nothing in it because um, I'm going to start adding some filters to show you guys how to add these. I've already typed these filters out. I copied and pasted them in a notepad file to make the tutorial go faster. So I don't have to be typing on screen because, to be honest, I'm not the fastest typer in the world. Um, so here we go. Um, here's what it looks like, just basic. This is just the, the image in its original form. Now, let's just say we want the image brighter than what it is. We think it's too dull, and we need the image to, to be a little brighter. I'm going to copy um, from my notepad file, and I'll paste it here. So let's do so we do a webkit filter brightness in the bracket bracket 120 percent and we close it off now let's save that bad boy let's jump back to um chrome let's refresh see how image all the lights on the image becomes instantly brighter um you know without using any image editing program now let's take it away from brightness and we're gonna sepia is i believe this one is called i'm not 100 percent sure um not a bright boy I get you guys are getting that message. Um, <laughs> let's paste this, paste this in. Um, let's save all. And let's go see what this one looks like. See, it tones down the image a little. Um, you know, just kind of take out the colors a little, kind of tone them down. So that's what that one looks like. Let's add an invert now. We're going to invert colors. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows what invert means. Um, so let's take that out. And we're going to invert colors. There you go. That's what invert does. Make it look like a negative. You can turn this down if you want. All right, let's do 50% on this bad, this girl here. Whoops. Come on. Oh, well, see what that gets. That blocks it out pretty much. Well, I've never actually turned it down to... 50, so it's good thing I do that, so I know never to do that again. <laughs> and we can try some contrast. Let's turn up the contrast on this, this. You know, so make you know what contrast means makes the image pop a little, um, pretty much. So let's paste that in. Refresh. You see how the colors become more vibrant. Everything like pops at you because the contrast of the image is turned up, um, and you know things like that. So. You can add multiple filters to this. You can even blur the image. I'm sure you guys have seen blurred image over the internet all the time. So let's jump down here and we'll do some blurred image. So we're going to do the WebKit again. Ah, come on. This one I'll type out. Hate typing on screen. I'm never the fastest at it. I'm gonna do blur, and inside those quote, let's do a two pixel blur. So two pixel blur on this bad. Save all. Refresh. See, it's kind of blurred. So. That's how you do CSS filters, guys. Um, you can just manipulate your images without ever even touching a image editing program. This, um, the downside to this, though, um, very rarely as I ever get this to work from Firefox. It works perfectly in Chrome and Safari um, by using the filter functions, but it, it doesn't work too well in Firefox. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.